Okay, so I'll be talking about memory loss. You know that every day we are using our brain to do a lot of tasks, right? Daddy tasks. Even small things that we take for granted, maybe like brushing our teeth or driving our car, washing our hair. That one also need to use our memory. So uh, as we age, we will feel like it's getting harder to remember some things. Example, like forgetting names. I don't know if you have forgotten people's names. After MCO, I think I find it hard to remember a lot of people's names that you haven't met for a long time. And uh, also, misplacing small objects. I always keep misplacing my phone. So I cannot find where is my phone or car key, where is it? Or even where is my wallet? Sometimes in the house also cannot find that. I have to use my watch to go and find the, uh, make the alarm sound for my phone to find where is it. <laughs> and then of course, forgetting minor details, like when uh, Atomy has a product on uh, sale in Korea, I always forget <laughs> when is it. And then so, uh, oh no, why I forget to buy it just now? It's supposed to be 12 o'clock and then 12.50 only I remember. <laughs> so it's getting harder to remember things. After 30 actually is when our memory start to go down a bit. Okay, so have you also uh, forget things in your life and even your friends' names? So this is um, normal as we age, but it's also kind of frustrating and it's kind of a fast as well. Memory loss can take, uh, can be in different forms from very mild, like the top one, two, three is mild memory loss, or it can be longer term memory loss. Like have you faced people who ask you the same questions or tell you the same thing several times? Like you tell me already what you tell me again, no? Or simple words, they can just cannot find the words. Or the worst, the word, more worse uh, severe case is when they start getting lost in very familiar place, supposed to be a place they go to all the time, but how comes suddenly they can get lost? This is actually all signs of mm, your memory loss. La. Okay, so what are the causes of memory loss? Uh, of course, the first thing is can be caused by aging. Memory decreases with age, especially our long-term memory. And our brain cell actually start to decrease, start to decline from the age of 30. And the memory steadily will start to decline. Uh, our short-term memory only store information up to 30 seconds. Huh? Okay, so another reason why we people can have memory loss is smoking, alcohol, stress. But the third one, I didn't know this until now, that excessive use of smartphone, using internet, you keep keep just scrolling internet whole day looking at your smartphone, especially in 30 to uh, 10 to 30 years old, can actually cause memory loss as well. Okay. So actually, what is memory? Memory is the ability to store necessary information in the brain and then retrieve it when needed. Memory is divided into sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory, according to each characteristics. Okay, do you know what is sensory memory? Ah? If you put your hand in front of you, put your hand in front of you, then you wave. You wave your hand in front of you. Look at your hand. Ah. You can see when your hand moves already, but you can still see the shadow of it before that, right? This is actually your visual sensory memory. Or if I, I if I make a sound, la, let's say on this mic, I knock. Ah, you can remember immediately, you can remember what I knock is third, the third, the third, right? But if you listen to a lot of music or tomorrow I ask you again, yesterday, how what pattern I knock, you cannot remember already. So this is your sensory memory, you remember it immediately, your um, auditory sensory memory, something that you, when you see it and then immediately within few seconds you remember. Okay, then another thing is your short-term memory. This is our primary primary storage, uh, our short-term memory. Short-term memory only store 30 seconds, uh, up to 30 seconds. So if we have short-term memory loss, we will forget things we have done recently. So the, the things like where I put my car key, uh, where I put my house phone, uh, did I lock my car or not just now? Did I lock the house? Uh, you have to turn back and go and check again. This is your short-term memory loss. <clears throat> you forget the things that just happened just now. So symptoms of short-term memory loss include forgetting recent events, 
where you put something, something you saw or read recently, or that uh, a question you already asked and then you forgot that you asked the question. So short-term memory loss can be a normal part of aging or it can be also something more serious. And then we have our long-term memory. Long-term memory is keeping track of information over time, long time. It provides unlimited storage of events, facts, and understanding of how to complete tasks in our brain. So long-term memory can weaken with age and it's actually normal. Typical brain aging can result in slower processing speed, potentially making it more challenging to multitask. When you're younger, you can do many things at one time using your long-term memory. But memory skills and knowledge usually stay steady. Normal age-related changes associated with memory include having trouble finding the right word that is from your long-term memory, losing things from time to time, occasionally forgetting names or appointments, but remembering them later. This is your long-term memory loss. So losing more of these skills can signal a serious problem like dementia. Okay, long-term memory loss might look like new problems with speaking and writing. Like last time you can, can write essay and remember all the words but suddenly now when you write you just cannot find the words to use or you can be very confused with time or place forgetting where you are how you can how you got there or it can also be changes in mood or behavior like you can suddenly become confused suspicious depressed fearful anxious and difficulty completing familiar daily tasks if you really going towards if people who are going towards dementia alzheimer or that even Daily tasks like driving also can be can suddenly forget. Even how to brush your teeth also can suddenly forget. Okay, so why we are, we are talking about this memory? Because recently, Adami has launched this new product called Adami Smart Memory App. So very timely, just at the time when I really think I'm starting to have a little bit of memory loss. So this product is launched, yay. So I definitely always feel frustrated when I cannot remember a name. So I thought that maybe I'm just bad with names, but actually maybe it could be memory loss, who knows, and blank. Uh, when you want to say something and suddenly blank, or when you think your memory is not as good as before. Actually, when I'm young, younger, I think my memory is very good. I can remember people's phone numbers, whole phone numbers, everything, but now struggling already. Okay, this, this Atomy Smart Memory up is uh, actually recognized by the MFDA, Ministry of Food and Drug Safety in Korea. And it's used for improving memory. It's a mixture of grape and blueberry that is rich in polyphenol component to help enhance memory. And this product has gone through four years of research. So why is this product special? It provides uh, 600 milligram of grape and blueberry extract mixed powder. It's in the pure form. It's a, this this uh, extract is recognized as a raw material for memory improvement. You see, it's a purple color pill and written on it is MP. Why is it MP? Because the main in the is a patented, um, mem, uh, it's not ingredient, I would say it's a brand called Memophenol, uh, research in France and Canada. Okay, so it's 100% plant raw material and patented composition ratio. And the functional raw materials have been done a lot of human trials. And there's another six supplementary ingredients that are meticulously selected. So what are the main raw material? It's grape and blueberry extract mixed powder. As mentioned just now, four years of cooperation and research by French and Canadian research institutes and companies. The French, the grapes come from France, it's French grapes and the blueberries are wild blueberries that come from Canada and both are very rich in polyphenol and they are carefully selected and manufactured with a patented ratio, okay, 600 milligrams total of it. Uh, as you can see, 100% plant derived, approved by human trial and very re reliable and it is also the winner of the Nutra Ingredients Awards in 2017. So we know already what is polyphenol. It's a category of compounds found in plants, such as food, fruits, vegetables, herbs, spices, tea, uh, dark chocolate, wine. It can, it's actually an antioxidant, means it can neutralize harmful free radicals that will otherwise damage your cells and increase your risk of conditions like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. So polyphenols are also thought to reduce inflammation, 
which is the root cause of many chronic illnesses. So inside these grapes and blueberries is very rich in the polyphenol of flavonoids and all this catechin, uh, flavonols, quercetin contains a lot. And why is it's not normal grapes and normal blueberries? It's only that particular grape found in France, which has a higher polyphenol than normal grapes. And the blueberries also, the wild blueberries has a much higher polyphenol content. Okay, so uh, it's developed through a lot of years of research, four years. If you Google French grapes and wild blueberries memory, you will find so many research papers. Uh, so many research has been done using these materials and they have found that the melophenol is really working to increase not just um, memory in uh, aging people, in elderly, but also their research on students. So when you are students, it's the time that you need to read a lot of books and then you need to use a lot of memory to recall back what you have studied for your exams, right? So this product uh, for me is particularly targeted for students who need to go through exams and for aging people, even 40 above can start taking already. Okay, so they have found that this, uh, after they did the human trial using this grape and blueberry extract mixed powder, there's an increased polyphenol in the content in the body and there is improvement of word recall skills and enhancement of pair associate learning. And the supplementary materials, another six is uh, Alpinia, Galanga extract, Curcuma extract powder, saffron extract, taurine, Rhodiola rosea extract, and this phosphatidylserine. <laughs> Very long. Okay, who should take this uh, memory up? The memory loss phenomenon usually occurs in everyday life but we should not just ignore it. We can boost it up, boost out our memory with Atomy Smart Memory Up. So people who need to improve memory due to aging or people who want to increase your work efficiency, if you find that your memory loss is causing you problems at your work, okay, you can take this as a supplement. People who are worried about memory loss can take this. People who often cannot remember names or remember words can take this as well. Okay, that's all for my sharing. And uh, in this small bottle, there are actually 60, 600 milligram of 60 capsules. And it's recommended to take two a day. One time you can take two one shot uh, after meals will be the best time.